Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope you're all enjoying your day so far. So I am very excited for today's video because I am finally going to be sharing with you guys the brand new Yankee Candle Spring Fragrances for 2024. So not only am I sharing the new fragrances, but I also have the brand new Three Wicks from Yankee. So um, if you've missed the news, you may have. Um, I feel like it's kind of been like recent news that this came out. But um, Yankee Candle is switching their three wicks from the regular 18 ounce size that they had. Um, and so they're now going to be a 14 and a half ounce candle, three wick candle. Um, so it's going to be very, very similar to the same size as like the Bath and Body Works three wicks, the Kringle three wicks, the Goose Creek ones. Um, most candle companies that offer a three wick have it in this standard 14 and a half ounce size. And so Yankee is uh, transitioning their three wicks to this format. Um, and I honestly didn't really know how the candle community would take this change. Um, I kind of had a feeling that some would be upset because obviously you're losing four ounces. But I also knew that a lot of people who really enjoyed the Bath and Body Works style candles would definitely appreciate this change. So um, yeah, overall, I've actually seen a lot of positivity over this change. I think a lot of people are excited. Um, I think that this is really exciting to see from Yankee because not only are they changing the size, but this may be a new like burn. Like I haven't really burned it long enough to assess today I'm really just getting you giving you guys uh, first sniffs and like my overall thoughts but I haven't really done much burning um, I did light one of them up last night just for a couple of hours um, as you can see it has quite big uh, wicks so I'll have to trim those but yeah I, I can't really speak on the burn quite yet because I haven't really burned them yet but I definitely want to burn all of these, give you guys post-burn in-depth reviews, um, kind of sharing my experience with these. Um, I really have my fingers crossed that they do good. I feel like if these do good, they're going to be really popular. And so I really hope that they burn well, and I really hope that they have a nice, solid strength and throw. Um, for me, if they have the same strength and throw with the three wicks previously did, then I'll be happy because I was satisfied with that, which... The strength and throw for those three wicks gave me about somewhere between like a seven and a half to an eight, somewhere around that normally, um, which is better than what I normally get from the Yankee two wick tumbler, which from that I normally get somewhere between like a five and a half to a six and a half. Um, but yeah, I just think obviously with three wicks, you're getting more surface area. Um, and so you're going to get a little bit more strength and throw. So I really hope that these perform well because um, I'm really excited for them. I love that I can put these in my bath and Body Works holders now and I just feel like it makes more sense like these definitely are the more traditional three wick style so I'm really excited for this change personally um I'm really excited to see what they come out with and um I've always loved the three wicks from Yankee and so I will definitely continue to enjoy these and I'm thinking um you know going forward I might just purchase the three wicks from Yankee if they offer more sense in them than the two wick because I definitely am the type of person who does want that more strength and throw I do want the more oomph so personally I probably will go with the three wicks but um yeah overall that's kind of the intro so I have a little haul here to share with you guys and then obviously the first sniffs of the new scents as well so um yeah anyways these are not quite available yet so don't go into your Yankee store expecting to, to be able to get these honestly um I do work at Yankee I've made that no secret here on my channel I work at a Yankee candle retail store I love my job um it's really fun working at a place where you love the product and um I love the candles so it's really fun for me but um anyways I do work there so I was able to get these from the back but I'm not sure if they're out in every store yet um I'm filming this right now on January 10th and I'm looking at my calendar right now I don't think that the new spring floor set launches until the 22nd so we still have like a week and a half until these are like officially launched so some stores may have them some stores may not 
Um, I know as far as the nuisance go, Target and Kohl's do already have them. Um, they have them in the signature, not the three wicks. So I haven't found any three wicks out in the wild, but um, if you if you kindly ask your store, they may have them in the back, but it's really just gonna depend on each store and whether they've gotten their shipment or not. So. Uh, definitely check that out. I also know I saw someone put on Instagram that they're available at Meyer, which we don't have a Meyer near where I live. I live on the East Coast in Virginia, so I think that Meyer is a West Coast thing. So I don't have one, but if you have one near you, maybe it's worth checking out to see if they have any there because apparently they uh, do. Um, I think it's kind of funny though that like these other stores and other retailers have the new stuff before Yankee Candle retail stores actually do. It does kind of annoy me because I feel like that would be so cool to like get the exclusive like first grab at a Yankee retail store. That would make a lot more sense than like having them already out at Target and Walmart. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I wish that they could already be available, but um, again, try your store. They may have them in the back and um, they should have a preview out as well with the smaller ones so uh but yeah that's the intro for you guys let's get right into these new scents i want to start off with uh the newer ones i have four out of the five of them there is one more new one which i didn't pick up because my store didn't actually have that one in yet so i'm gonna purchase that one once we get it but um, I have the four, so let's go over these real quick. I'm just gonna tell you the names, show you the label, and then we'll go into each scent and read the notes and smell, but I smell and cold. <laughs> All right, so the first one here is Stargazing. This is a really pretty label. So I was really skeptical about these labels at first, to be honest. Um, I was kind of nervous because I didn't really know how they were gonna work because these are more of like the new modern type of labels. They're not like a photo label. They're not like a printed label. These are, these are more modern and so I was very interested, but I actually think that these are really pretty and I'll show you this next one. This is probably my favorite label. Actually, I think I'm tied between these two. They both kind of have the same theme going on, but these are really pretty. Um, so the next one is aloe and agave or agave. I don't even really know how you say that. Um, spelling, pronunciation, police, please let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, I love this label. You know what I really like about this? They did a mixture of like real elements. So this cactus looks very real, but obviously like the sun is a cartoon and the mountains are a cartoon. So I like how it's kind of like a mixture, but I think that these are really pretty. Um, I also really appreciate that they still kept the colored wax. I think it just gives it a really um, like fun look and I really like how they kept it. And I haven't already shown you this one, I don't think, but this is the uh, purple wax on the stargazing one. Okay, the next one, again, I just love this label. This is this is just gorgeous. This is the uh, Desert Blooms. Honestly, this label is so, so pretty. It's funny because it has purple flowers in the label. And when I think of like a desert floral, I think of more of like a pink floral or like a cactus blossom. But this is really pretty and I like that pink look that it has and then it does kind of have like a, a very like whitish pink looking wax. And then the last of the new ones are, uh, or is Sweet Vanilla Horchata. So this is Sweet Vanilla Horchata. Very interesting. I expected more of like a gourmand type label on here but it's got, uh, it looks like the Grand Canyon to me and then the yellow sun and then this one is a white wax. So. Those are the four new ones. And then the fifth new one is called Canyon Pine Trail, which that one is actually not available in a three wick. That one is only gonna be available in the signature. So it's gonna come in the jar, the tumbler, the, uh, the, what else is it gonna come in? I think it comes in the small one and then also in the mini. So it's gonna come in those four sizes. So they always do one extra one that's normally just like a signature exclusive. Not sure why they do that. But all four of these will be available in the signature two wicks and the original jar. So if you're still a fan of paraffin, then you will be able to get them in there. And then uh, you can also get it in all of the other like home fragrance formats. You can get it in the room plugins, which I actually bought all of these in the plugins. Uh, I forgot to bring them over here. I meant to, but I bought all four of the new ones in the plugin refill. 
Um, there should be out in wax melts, melt cups, room sprays. It should be out in all the normal formats. So, uh, but yeah, those are the new candles. And then I do have a little, a few others that I bought that aren't new, but I'll show you guys those more at the end. But let's actually get into these scents and uh, discuss them. So let me pull, I got my computer right here. Um, so the first one I want to talk about is stargazing right here. Um, I was so excited for this one because I just love this whole theme of like outer space. I just think it's a really neat theme. And so I was really just interested to see what scent this would be. So uh, the description on this one reads, enjoy stargazing into the endless night sky over the sand dunes surrounded by notes of lavender, eucalyptus, and vanilla sugar. And I forgot to mention this, so I probably should. Uh, the collection is called Under the Desert Sun. So that's like the theme of this collection. Okay, uh, the notes on here. We've got top notes of lilac, mineral air, and eucalyptus. Your bin notes are lavender, geranium, and violet. And your base notes are vanilla, sugar, rose petals, and sandalwood. I have already smelled all of these, by the way, and I have to tell you, this is my favorite one. If I if I had to choose one favorite, this is definitely my favorite out of these four. Um, this is so good. I love this. If you love lavender, then this is going to be the candle for you. This is a really beautiful, well-done lavender. Um you get that really pretty lavender in here. You do also get that vanilla smell in here. I think it's a really nice blend of lavender and vanilla. Um, Yankee actually has a candle called Lavender Vanilla and I feel like this is very reminiscent towards that fragrance. I wouldn't say they're exact dupes. I think that the lavender is a little bit different in the two different fragrances. But if you love that one, I think that this is really good and close to it. Um, the lavender is definitely the main note in here. It's a really relaxing lavender. To me, it's almost more of like a floral lavender, um, but it's just really pretty. I love this one so much, you guys. And then you get the really nice, like sweet vanilla note in here. It definitely has a really nice relaxing vanilla. Um, it has a lot of floral undertones. I noticed that with the notes in here, and I definitely have to agree on cold. I definitely pick up a lot of like, floral undertones in here. So there's lilac, there's uh, rose petals, there's geranium, violet, lavender is a floral. And I do get those floral undertones. Um, the lilac, I definitely get a little bit of lilac. I feel like lilac and lavender are kind of similar in fragrance and I definitely get um, that little bit of lilac in there. It's just a very slight lilac. Like I know lilac can be a very overpowering fragrance. The lilac in here is just very light and it mixes really well with the lavender and just plays a really good supporting note in here. Definitely some violet, kind of like again that purple floral vibe. Um, rose petals. Rose petals is really interesting. I do think that I get a slight rosiness to this one, but overall it's a beautiful fragrance. And then I do also get the sandalwood base in here. The sandalwood is really, really pretty kind of giving it a slight muskiness. But overall, I love this fragrance. This is really beautiful. I think that this would be a great bedroom fragrance. I actually want to get one more of these because I did start burning this one last night in my bedroom. I was like doing work and I was like, this candle, like I want to light it up so badly because I know that this would just be a really good relaxing candle. And so I lit it up and I really enjoyed it. And um, I might pick up, I think I'm going to get one more of the three wick for me and then I'm going to burn it in my bedroom. But I also want to have one too do my like regular review on and I'll burn it down here. But I just love this one. If you like lavender, you're gonna love this one. It's just a really pretty scent. So that is uh, stargazing right there. That's our first one. All right, our next one, and I'm gonna continue in order with my favorite to least favorite. And my second favorite is gonna go to aloe and agave. Again, I don't know if it's agave or agave. I think I pronounce it agave, but I don't know. Anyways, um, aloe and agave here. So this one has another really pretty label, like I said. You got some cactus, the blue sun, a blue wax. Um, but let's look at the fragrance of this one. So the description reads, the fragrances of aloe, tea leaves, and blue lotus create refreshing aromas of desert flora. 
Your top notes are green, lemon, cactus water, and aloe. Your mid notes are blue lotus, coriander, and white peony. And your base notes are mineral wood, musk, tea leaves, and agave. Oh, I love this one, you guys. This is really good. If you are a fan of more fresh type fragrances, this is going to be the one for you. Now, I was honestly a little bit ex like scared about this fragrance because aloe doesn't really have that much of a fragrance to it itself. Aloe kind of has like a slight watery kind of greenery smell to it, but I honestly do get that translated in here. It's just very refreshing, kind of in the same way that it's like sage and citrus is just so refreshing and like cooling and just a really nice fresh fragrance um so to me this is very earthy it's very greenery definitely very watery but it's just very fresh it almost smells like a jungle forest to me it's just so fresh because you smell like the wateriness but you also smell all of that greenery like all of that kind of like ozone freshness you get that in here um this is really nice i really like this one and similar to the stargazing, it also has some floral undertones. Um, to me, this is more of the white florals that I would maybe say get an undertone of. Um, the lotus is kind of like a really nice like watery floral. And I do definitely get that in here as well. Some peony. Yeah, this is really beautiful. And then tea leaves. I do get some tea in here. Almost like a white tea fragrance. Just very calming and refreshing. Um, but yeah, you guys, I love this one. It's so good. It's very fresh, very watery, kind of earthy and ozone-y. Definitely greenery. Um, I just love this one. It's, it's really enjoyable. I think that this is a great springtime scent. And if you just want like a fresh home fragrance, I think that this is the perfect one for you. So that is aloe and agave. Okay, let's go to our next one, my third favorite. And honestly, well, I don't know. I like both of these. I would probably say that these are tied for third. I don't really like one more than the other, to be honest. I expected to like the sweet vanilla horchata a lot more than I do, and I don't dislike it. It's just not expect like what I expected, I guess. Um, so I'll put these in third place as a tie. But let's do the uh, let's do the sweet vanilla horchata because. Uh, the other two are more fresh type scents. So let's talk about a gourmand. So sweet vanilla horchata. We've got to add in one gourmand. Um, so the description on sweet vanilla horchata reads the perfect refreshing treat after a day of exploring the fragrance of icy sweetened rice milk with notes of cardamom and vanilla. Your top notes are rice milk, orange peel, and sweet yuzu. Your mid notes are soft rose, velvet jasmine, and stone fruit. And your base notes are sandalwood, amber, cardamom, and vanilla. So honestly, I didn't even know what a horchata was before I researched it for this candle. And horchata is kind of like a milky drink. Um, it's very like sweet. It's got like a vanilla base to it. But like I said, it's kind of like a milky uh, type drink. Um, this is really nice. I like this. Um, I will say it's light on cold. This one's probably not going to have a great strength and throw. I can already tell. And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. This one is definitely lighter for me. Um, but I do like what I'm smelling in here. It's a very sweet vanilla fragrance. Um, almost kind of like a vanilla, like a vanilla extract type fragrance. It's nice. Um, I definitely kind of get like a little bit of like a milkiness to this one not in a weird way like don't let the milk throw you off the milk is just kind of like playing in with the vanilla note in here but yeah it's it's a nice fragrance um it's not my favorite gourmand ever from yankee i feel like they could have added a little bit more to this one but overall it's a nice fragrance um you know what surprised me I get the florals in here and it's weird because I've never like smelled like a mixture of floral and gourmand, but I do feel like I get a slight rose note in here. Very, very slight. It's definitely more in the background, but I do kind of feel like I get like a slight floralness in here. Um, I also get the cardamom in here. It's just a little bit spicy, not too spicy. It's just the slightest bit of cardamom in here, like a pinch. Um, but I do get it in here. Um, 
sandalwood and amber. It does kind of have a, like a slight muskiness to this one. And again, don't let the muskiness throw you off. The muskiness in here is more of like a sweet musk that kind of works with the gourmand in here. It's not like a earthy musk or anything like that. It's much more of like a sweeter vanilla musk to me. But um, yeah, this is nice. I do like this one. It's kind of like a milky, spicy type scent. It's just got a hint of spice. But yeah, overall, I like this one. Um, I hope it's a little bit stronger while I'm burning it. But on cold, it's honestly kind of light for me. Uh, this may be one where I need to like pair it with the wax melt or the melt cup to get some more strength and throw from it because it does seem a little bit light on cold. But um, overall, it's a nice uh, gourmand fragrance. All right, and then the last one here is the Desert Blooms, and I love this label, like I said. So, so pretty. It looks like it's got lavender in the fields. It's just really beautiful. So, Desert Blooms, the description on this one reads, discover the beautiful scents of colorful blossoms in the warm desert. Notes of rose petal, cigarro cactus, and sage. I don't know if I said that right, cigarro? <laughs> Not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but anyways, uh, your top notes are sparkling bergamot, cypress, cigarro cactus. There we are again. <laughs> Mid notes of rose petals, veveter, and dried sage, and your base notes are driftwood, musk, and aldehydes. I really like this one. I honestly didn't expect to. I didn't think that I would like this fragrance because Honestly, this is not the type of scent that I would normally like. Um, I love florals, but this is more like a powdery, rosy floral. And those are the florals that I normally don't enjoy, but I do actually really like the floral that's in here. Um, it's definitely a very rose heavy fragrance. I would say the main floral that I get in here is definitely like a rose or a tube rose type scent. Um, it's also got like an aldehyde vibe going as well. I definitely get that slight aldehyde note in here. Um, I definitely get kind of like, it says cactus, which I'm like, does cactus even really have a smell? <laughs> like, I don't really know if it does, but it does kind of smell like a desert floral to me. It's sort of reminiscent to Cactus Blossom from Bath and Body Works, um, which I honestly don't like that one either. This is not quite as intense, so I think I prefer this one a little bit more over that, but it's kind of like that same like powdery, rosy type scent. But I actually do like this. Um, it's very powdery. I wouldn't say it's perfumey, but it just smells powdery to me. Like I feel like in a way this would be a good bathroom fragrance, and I don't mean that in a demeaning way at all. I just really feel like this would be like, a good bathroom fragrance. Like I feel like it kind of smells like a, a bathroom, but I do like this. Um, it's just like a very like uh, rosy powdery type scent. I do get that slight musk in here, but yeah, overall I do like this. These two are definitely not like my favorites ever. My favorites are definitely the aloe and agave and the, um, and the stargazing, those are definitely my favorites out of these. But um, yeah, those are all of the new ones. And then, like I said, the last one is the Canyon Pine Trail, which let me actually see if I can pull it up on here. Sorry, I'm gonna type it in. Um, I don't see it on here, but the Canyon Pine Trail, I did smell it because we had um, the little plug-in, but I didn't buy it. Um, but we didn't have the candle out yet, but it to me kind of smelled like a basic pine fragrance. It wasn't really too special or anything. Um, it smelled a little bit fruity, like I think maybe it had like a slight apple note, but other than that, it was just kind of like a pine fragrance. And honestly, I was a little bit confused about why they would put a pine fragrance in the spring collection, because when I think of pine, I always think of the holidays. But um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it does kind of go in with this like whole desert theme, but uh, that last one is the Canyon Pine Trail. I will buy it once we get it in my store and I'll definitely show you guys. But um, those are the four new ones. And then I also just wanted to pick up a couple of classics just to have for the spring and summertime. I'll probably actually save both of these for the summertime because they're much more beachier type fragrances, but I wanted to get these to kind of burn to test out this new three wick. So um, I'm not even really gonna go over the notes on these. I'm just, these are classic scents I feel like, so you guys probably already know these, but the first one is Coconut Beach. Um, honestly, I don't love the label on this one. It's a little bit too all over the place for me. Um, also, like this doesn't really make sense to me. I feel like this should have had like a beachier like look to it, maybe like a blue label with like 
coconuts on it and just like a little bit more tropical looking um maybe they'll come out with another one for like more of a beachy look and this is maybe more of like the springy look but i don't know why it has like flowers on it because coconut beach is not a floral scent this to me oh, i love it this is definitely like a very like sweet coconut type scent very tropical you kind of get that like salt water breeze oceanic accord to it but it's just like a fresh, sweet coconut. Not really like a sunscreen coconut. I feel like a lot of coconuts like over the past couple of years that have come out really smell like a sunscreen. Um, if you want that, then definitely check out Sun and Sand because it smells just like straight up sunscreen. But this is more of like your fresh, sweet vanilla coconut type of fragrance with a little bit of like a salty air in the background. I love this, great for the summertime. I'll definitely be burning this probably in like June or July when I'm in my tropical era. <laughs> and then um, the other one that I picked up, which again, just very confused by this label because it's again got flowers on it. Um, this is Iceberry Lemonade, which is not a floral scent, whatever. Um, they should have put like lemons on this one and like citrus and like, I don't know, something more tropical, I think. But um, I love this. This is a Yankee Candles version of Capri Blue Volcano. So if you love that like citrusy lemonade type fragrance, that is this candle. It's so good. And again, I kind of wanted to see how this one would do in the three wicks. So I bought it and um, I'll probably burn this more closer to later spring, early summer, because that's just when this fragrance makes more sense to me. I am a seasonal burner, so it's kind of hard for me to burn like summery type scents right now. So. You'll see those a little bit later. But um, yeah, anyways, you guys, that is the new fragrances for spring 2024 from Yankee and also the new Three Wicks. So let me know if you're excited about the new Three Wick change. Uh, maybe you're not. Be honest. Let me know down below in the comments um, whether you agree or disagree with the opinion. Just definitely make sure you are uh, respectful. But um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will put Yankee's website down below if you want to check it out. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!